Hi guys, welcome back to High Yield Interday Trading. So the topic that we are going to discuss today is on false breakouts, okay? We get many situations where we are not able to decide whether it's a false breakout or, or whether it's a general or a real breakout or not, right? So this video is to address it and to make you eligible enough to know by yourself whether the breakout is a false breakout or not, okay? So coming to the first thing, what is a false breakout? False breakout is a breakout which does not really sustain itself, okay? And it happens against the main trend, okay? So as the name suggests, it's a false breakout. It's a fake breakout. It's a breakout which is not happening in real, but rather it's happening to maybe trap the retail investors or the retail traders, okay? Now mark my words, what do I mean by main trend? Let me explain a bit more on that, okay? So if a stock is making continuous higher highs and higher lows, what trend is it in? It's in an uptrend, right? Now, if the false breakout is about to happen, then it will happen in the lower direction and it will not sustain that down move and eventually will move up again. Similarly, if a stock is making continuous lower lows and lower highs, we know that the main trend of that particular stock is a downtrend, right? So in this case, the false breakout will happen in the upward direction and it will not sustain the up move and eventually will move down again. Okay, now to make you understand uh, properly, let me go ahead and show you a diagram, a drawing and the chart. Okay, so I have already drawn everything to save some time here. Okay, let's have a look on the left hand side diagram first. Okay, so just by seeing the move, you can very well say that the stock is in an uptrend. The main trend of the stock is uptrend. Why? Because it, it is making continuous higher highs and high lows, right? So this is a high high, this is a high low, this is a high high, high low, higher high, higher low. Okay, so the stock's main trend is an uptrend. So after it moves up for a while, it goes sideways. So this phase is normally, we call it as the consolidation phase. Okay, and when the stock is in a consolidation phase, that is when the support and the resistance comes into play. Okay, so the red line that you see here is the resistance line, the green line that you see here is the support line. Okay, now, if you remember what I said, if the stock is in an uptrend, the false breakout will always happen in the downward direction. So this is the support line. This was respected once, twice, thrice, and four times, right? Fifth time is the time when the stock actually breached the support line and came down, right? So this point, this very point is called as the false breakout when the stock's primary trend is an uptrend. Now, Will this false breakout sustain itself? Since it was a false breakout, it will not sustain the down move and eventually it will move up further. Okay, so this is the, this is a false breakout for a stock which is in an uptrend. Okay, now have a look on the right hand side diagram. So just by seeing the move of the, of the stock, you can very well say that the main trend of the stock is a downtrend because it is making continuous lower lows and lower highs. Right, this is the low high, this is the low low, lower high, low low, low high, and low low. Right, and after it moves down for a while, it goes into the consolidation phase, and we have the support and the resistance here. Okay, now again, if you remember what I said earlier, if the stock is in a downtrend and if the false breakout is about to happen, then the false breakout will always happen in the upward direction. Okay, so here this resistance was respected right it was respected here it was respected here but the third time the stock breached the resistance and went up okay so this very point is called as the false breakout for a stock which is in a downtrend and as i said earlier this up move will not sustain itself eventually it will fall again okay so this is how you find whether the breakout is actually a false breakout or not okay so this was about the diagram now now let's uh, come to the real world okay so this is the chart there's the chart for nifty a one day chart for nifty so clearly just by seeing the chart you can very well make out that this uh, is an uptrend the main trend of nifty is an uptrend right because it is making continuous higher highs and higher lows right higher high higher high higher high 
higher high, high low, high low, high low, high low, higher high, high low. Right? So after a while, it goes into the consolidation phase. So this entire phase is your consolidation phase. Right? And this is where the support and the resistance come into picture. Right? So the green line that you see here is the support line. The two red lines that you see here are the other resistances. Okay? I'll let you know why I have drawn two red lines here. Okay? So, uh, this was the green line is the support line which was respected multiple number of times. Right? It was respected here. It was respected here. But when it came and retested these levels for the third time, the support was breached the support was broken and nifty came down okay so this red candle was the one which was which breached the support but on the very next day you see that the down move that happened did not sustain itself right the very next day it started moving up again so you know it very well right now that this was a false breakout this was a false breakout for nifty when nifty was in an uptrend okay now the question comes where do you take the entry okay so this green candle lets you know that okay this was a false breakout and nifty should move up eventually okay but will you take the entry here no obviously not because you clearly have a resistance here right every swing high will act as a resistance and every swing low will act as a support okay now that is a completely different topic i don't want to get into that but those are very common terms which you should be aware about okay so this is a swing high so obviously it will work as a resistance right so we need to wait for nifty to breach this resistance and then we will take our entry but let's say for example nifty breached this resistance will you take an entry will you take a long position here the answer is no because you clearly see that there is another swing high which may act as a resistance okay so your safe entry will be only after this red resistance line is breached by nifty so which candle is actually breaching it this green candle is breaching this resistance line and closing above it so you take the entry the next day okay so this will be your entry okay your stop loss will be the recent swing low uh, either you keep it here or you keep it here okay this will be a stop loss and your target normally you can set a target which is the difference between your entry and your stop loss so let's say for example 300 points is the difference between uh, your stop loss here and your entry here then you can target uh, 300 points from your entry somewhere here okay so that is how you decide the entry exit and stop loss okay so once you enter here after a few days you see that there are a couple of red candles you don't have to panic because you clearly see that you have a support line here right now this was this red line was a resistance when nifty had not breached it once nifty breaches this lower red line the same red line which was a resistance becomes a support okay this this is also very basic uh, if you are trading okay so this red line might act as a support so you don't have to panic your stop loss is here or here and you have a support uh, which is lying much above your stop loss okay so you have to always wait and see whether actually nifty is taking a support from here or not okay and it exactly took a support from here and started moving up okay so uh, i'm sorry but i just went more into uh, technicals sorry about that but i hope you understand how you find uh, you know the false breakouts now okay now second thing is what is the most important thing that you should be aware in order to find these false breakouts it's the trend of a particular stock okay you should be completely aware of what exactly is the main trend of the stock and only post that you can actually draw the line or come to the conclusion that a breakout is a false breakout or not okay and i'm sure you all know how to find whether the stock is in an uptrend or uh, if it's in a downtrend yeah 
so this is how you find the false breakout guys now please go ahead and have a look on the charts because the more you see the charts the more you will be able to make out things at a single glance okay the simple thing is you have to train your eyes to find or read stuffs when you look at the charts okay it's important so practicing is important and that's not the end post practicing another very important aspect is to implement your practices in the live market okay so keep doing them because there is no other way to sustain in this market you have to learn things and the right things and not just any stuff then you have to practice and then implement it in the live market okay so that's it guys this is what i wanted to share with you and i hope uh, it was helpful okay and as always would request you to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please join in my telegram channel the link to which uh, you will find in the description section okay and i hope you will stick around and thanks a lot for your time you all have a very good night and happy trading bye bye